Oh, Harry Potter. Oh, Harry Potter. Oh, Harry Potter. Oh, oh Harry Potter. Tell me you love me, Harry Potter. I told you, I don't want you to bombard me with this every time I get done plowing you. I, I'm not gonna just say I love you if I don't mean it, because then that makes me a liar. Do you want the guy plowing you to be a liar? So oh, no, oh, Harry Potter! Be a once a night, we do it, and that's it. That's the, that, there doesn't need to be uh, like a bunch of questions after where I try to fulfill some fantasy to make you feel of value. You, you're, you're getting plowed by me. That is all the reassurance you need. Now, if you see that, I have to do a little. I have to do an a introduction for my website, so I'm gonna need you to get out of here and go wait in the car. Okay, I'm asking you nicely to leave my room and go wait in the car. Thank you. Hey guys, it's me, uh, Harry Potter. Uh, you might have heard I just got done pile driving Hermione Granger, or Granger, whatever you want to call her, and also a uh, certain Asian girl from a uh, certain Harry Potter movie that I did once. Anyway, I don't remember the title. I think it was Harry Potter and the uh, and the James and the Giant Phoenix Peach or something in that price range. No, it wasn't a threesome. It was more like an Asian one in the morning, white one in the evening type deal. Nothing sinister, I can assure you. I'm not the Voldegaga you're looking for. That guy is bad, he hurt my friends, and I'm still mad at him, so please don't go there. Anyway, I just want to take a minute to apologize for what might look like some type of light show in the video rather than uh, me in human form. Um, easiest explanation, um, not in human form right now. Um, my mind is actually in Valhalla fighting the dormant powers of Vol Diameter in his circular dominions. And my human form is in South Philly getting a steak in Swiss. Don't worry, my heart is still home in Hogwarts. Um, if you take a second and move your eyes down my page a little, not my pecs, you'll see my beloved Harry Potter 7 franchise in all its glory. Feel free to make yourself comfortable. If you're at home, grab a bowl of popcorn, glass of pineapple juice, or whatever your beverage of choice is, and enjoy the film. After that, if you want to see cinematic filmmaking at its zenith, feel free to dive into the deleted scenes. I'm not going to stop you. Anyway, dudes and dudettes, I gotta run. If you're up late one night and you want to chat about my love life, feel free to send me a magical note by clicking send message above. And uh, basically what will happen after you click send message, uh, for those of you who aren't magically inclined, um, as I am, a uh, window dialog light box will appear uh, miraculously dead center in, the di in your um, digital set box, or uh, if you're on Earth, your monitor. <coughs> you can then type into your black stock powered or again if you're on earth your USB ca uh, powered keyboard and once you click the submit button the uh, message will um, uh, then get uh, sort of sucked into a low level stratosphere of fire tubes and hot coils not coals and uh, then bounced over the moon uh, and planetary solar system a few times sort of rickrolled over the waves on horseback over to me to put it in layman's terms I will then read the letter and respond to it by my communication uh, method of choice which is uh, email. Uh, yeah, I prefer a simple email sometimes to all the magic. Believe it or not, sometimes I just like to lay low and pretend I'm not Harry Potter. But that usually doesn't last long because I'm suddenly, all at once and without warning, summoned to some dark castle to fight another dark lord who is no doubt another minion of Moldabach, who is a distant brother of Voldegoogles. I'm not just saying it this time. I'm not just crying warlock this time. This is the real thing. Excuse me a sec. Told you to wait in the car, bitch!